Let's talk billionaires. According to Forbes, more people became billionaires last year than ever before, but people on the other end of the scale have also been pretty hard hit. Inequality is growing. Are billionaires part of the problem or part of the solution? My colleague Aaron Heselhurst spoke to British billionaire investor John Cordwell, who says it upsets him that so many billionaires get to escape taxes legally. It does because it shows a total lack of humanitarian yeah. interest. Because, you know, if you boil it down, if somebody fiddles the tax, and I'm gonna be quite strong on this point, they are killing a child. And it's really as simple as that. Because there are so many children that would not die all around the world, mm. but in Britain as well, that would not die if there was money there to cover them. And it's not just children, it's everybody. You know, the health service now needs a massive investment yeah. to save people's lives from the, uh, the, 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 the neglect that's gone on over the last two years because of COVID. And, it, and that service needs to be ramped up massively. And for that, you need money, training, and recruitment of all the right people to try and catch up on that backlog. And if we don't pay our taxes, we can't afford it. John, do you think we can survive in a society, or even society surviving itself, where you've got the wealthy who are stunningly wealthy and the poor unable to feed themselves? Well, you, you know, you, you can see a situation where there's a revolution yeah. in the future. Because I don't think you can have the massive opulent wealth um, of, of the world's top, say, 1,000 billionaires and probably you could extend that a lot further because mine is astonishing wealth to uh, most people. But, you know, when I see the wealth of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, that's beyond comprehension. And, and especially in Jeff Bo Bezos's case, inherited by the, I mean, not, not taking away the quality of what he's done, but inherited by the pandemic that's pushed customers his way. And I was campaigning for a long time with the UK government on a windfall covid wealth tax on those people that are benefited out of covid and only one off so it wouldn't have damaged yep. them it wouldn't yep. have damaged the share price just one off so jeff bezos might have had a 50 billion dollar tax bill on amazon if he could afford to pay out of his cash flow but it would have been appropriate would it have damaged amazon no it's a short-term hit mm. they're still going got massive massive benefits from the covid experience that's just gone by and those benefits are going to continue